let's talk about conditionals as expressions. When we talk about expressions, what we mean are basically parts of the code that have a value. So for example, an expression is something like uh, three less than four, which would have a Boolean value. Or if I just type a string, that would also have a value. So it's an expression. And similarly, this would also be an expression. In this case, with a value of five, because we set it up here. So the difference between an expression and a statement is that an expression has a value. Now a statement, for example, may be something like this print line statement right here. It doesn't have a value, it's just a statement telling Kotlin to print out some text. And now, so far I've been talking about if statements and when statements. But more precisely, in Kotlin, those are actually expressions. So I could say something like val result equals. Now the way this when expression is built at the moment, IntelliJ is going to give me a warning and mark this whole block. And that's because in each of these cases, I'm not really returning any value. So the way this works is that the result stored here is always the last expression used in each of these blocks. So for example, if mode is one and Kotlin goes into this case, then the value of this whole when expression will be the last expression that is inside this block. But as I've told you before, this print line is not an expression. And the same goes for each of the other cases. And that's why IntelliJ is gonna give me this warning. Now if I just remove the print line statement and just put the string right here, this is now an expression. So this is gonna store um, the mode is lazy inside result if the mode is one. So if I do the same change for each of these cases, then what it's gonna do is it's gonna remove the warning that IntelliJ gave me. And now we have a full-fledged when expression. Now remember that I told you that the last expression in each block will be the result right here. So if I go into the second block, which is composed of two expressions in this case, this will be the return value. Let's just quickly check that by setting the mode to two. Well, that didn't print anything yet because I still have to do a print line of the result. And now let's run this again. And now we can see that it's gonna return. So the mode is busy, which is the last expression in this block. And this is basically ignored. So what we can do is we can write any kind of code we like in here. And um, once we're finished, we can just specify what we want the value of the expression to be if we went into this case. So if I run this again now, then this is gonna execute everything that's uh, specified in this case, just like before when we were not um, using a when expression, but just a when statement basically. And additionally, we're printing the result. So if the mode is three, for example, then what's gonna happen is um, Kotlin is gonna go into this case right here and it's gonna store this expression inside our result value. All right, and the exact same thing goes for the if. So we could also store a val x, let's say. And of course, it's gonna mark this red at the moment because we didn't specify any expressions to return. So let's say if the mode is less than two, we want to print mode is less than two, and we want to set x to 17, for example. Now to get rid of the error message, we have to define an else block as well. And that's because otherwise it's not defined what x will be if this is not true. And remember that Kotlin avoids null values wherever possible, so it's not just gonna assign x to be null, that's not gonna happen. So whenever we want to use an if expression, we have to use if and an else block. So let's say in the else block we want x to be 42, for example. And now let's just quickly test this as well. So we're gonna print out x. And since our mode is three at the moment, it's not gonna be less than two. And so we're gonna print out 42. All right, so that's how we can create if and when expressions. What we've done is basically only 
we've added these values in front of the uh, when and if blocks and we had to make sure to actually return an expression in each of the cases inside our when expression and also we have to make sure to use an else block in our if expression. Okay, so I encourage you to try this out for yourself and I'm gonna see you in the next lecture.